New rumors point to the next Google Pixel being the first with a new Snapdragon processor. Apple is reportedly working on dropping its need for Samsung and building iPhones, and we get the first credible leaks on the Samsung Galaxy S8 Active. I'm Jaime Rivera, and we're about to try something crazy. We want to see if we're able to publish this video every day at 9 p.m. Eastern. This is Pocket Now Daily. The official news today have to do with the beauty of advertisement, mainly because Apple came up with this commercial of Siri and The Rock, and, well, it's currently taken over the internet, up to the point where it's completely drowned the buzz of Bixby Voice, in addition to Amazon's Alexa and also the Google Assistant. It just proves the beauty of marketing and how certain companies just don't do it right. But anyways, I'm not going to say that this ad is great or not. You can watch it in the description and let us know what you think in the comments. Other official news have to do with YouTube TV. I am a major fan of the service and it currently extends to 10 more markets, including Houston, Miami, Dallas, among other cities that you can learn more in the description. Is it worth 35 bucks? I would say it is, mainly because of all that DVR that you get. But anyways, let us know if you use the service as well in the comments. And how about if we talk about the Galaxy S8 Active? Previously, all we saw from this phone was a gigantic slab, which pretty much didn't show anything. But as of today, there is a video in the description that also shows us how this phone looks from the back, the fact that it doesn't have curves on the display, and that apparently the display is no longer including that polycarbonate coating that was very scratch friendly. So yeah, let's wait and see when we're getting this active smartphone. I personally can't wait. And speaking of Samsung, some interesting reports from trusted sources claim that Apple wants to do a couple of crazy things going forward. Apparently the company is uh, noticing that it depends too much on Samsung, particularly with OLED displays. Apparently it's going to need a ton of these for the current generation iPhone that's coming. So it seems that Apple wants to actually build its own OLED factory. And uh, we know that Foxconn acquired Sharp. The whole purpose was to build OLED displays, so it makes all the sense for this to be a collaboration between companies, given how many iPhones are made by Foxconn. So yeah, let's see how that goes. And finally, the very interesting news that they have to do with the Google Pixel 2 or Google Pixel XL 2. We're not exactly sure what the final names are. What we do hear, again, from other trusted sources is that this phone might bring the new Snapdragon 836 processor. Now, bear in mind, as of before today, we had never heard of this processor. We were already talking about the Snapdragon 845 for next year. So 836, apparently it is 10% faster than the current 835. That could be great, but it leads me to the question today. I mean, would this new processor make you buy the next Google Pixel, mainly because you're going to have to pony up for a smartphone that's not subsidized? In my case, I don't know. I would not really care if it's 10% faster. I would really love if it were 10% more efficient on the battery. But leave us a comment down below. We'd love to know your opinion. Friends, again, we're going to try to have this video live every day at 9 p.m. So follow us on social media and also subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, or on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We will see you tomorrow.